there. That's it. That's him. What's up, people? You like this? I got my, my nice little spiffy shirt. My, somebody said I wore the same three shirts. Well, now for me, it's maybe the same four shirts. I don't know. But well, first of all, let me say this. Thank you for watching my videos. Shout out to all my viewers, subscribers, all the people that pay attention, my friends on Facebook. Follow the Twitters, the Facebooks, do all that. You know, I talk a lot of shit. Hey, go to my, get my Facebook personal page. I don't give a shit. But first of all, but hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, as usual, Mr. Warmack is officially in the building. Now, here's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about something that a lot of you ignorant ass motherfuckers practice. And y'all practice it like this is religion. Y'all think two wrongs equals a fucking right. And I'm tired of seeing them. And you know what the worst part about this is? I'm seeing this from people that are older than me. You know, I, and I'm like 20. <laughs> no, seriously. I see this from people that are older than me. Like, people who you would think to be like, what, above this shit? They think two wrongs will make it right. Like, and here, let me put an example out there. Say, say you on the job or somewhere, you get caught, you do something wrong. Well, I, I, I won't even do that because people, a lot of people think I'm, like, in my videos, a lot of people think I'm talking about them partially because, like, they'll say, he's talking about me. He's talking about me. You know, this happens a lot, and I'm not talking about any specific situation. Sure, there are times in my videos where I'll take shots at people, but you gotta really read it. But I'm not taking shots at nobody. I've just seen a lot of dumb shit, and when I saw people that are older than me doing this, I had to say something. Say, all right, I'll, I'll use the streets for example. Say you're out in the street, say you're doing your thing, you're getting your money, whatever, whatever. All of a sudden, down the road, they let you slide, they let you slide. They know what you're doing, by the way, but they let you slide, let you go. Just put the, then they put the surveillance on you. All of a sudden, this and the third, you get the old knock on the door, you know, and you, and you get bagged up. So they, they you know, they sit you down. They read you the riot act, you're like, nah, I ain't doing nothing, I ain't saying nothing, this, that, and the third, okay. Down the road, you know, you're thinking about it, then you listen to what they have to say. And then you say, well, you know how the game goes with some of these fools. They give the next man up. Well, hell, you got caught. Suck that shit up, man, you know. I'm using that because I don't want to put, like, like, work or personal life. Like I said, people think I'm talking about them. That's why I'm using that adjective word. It's basically snitching. But uh, they, you want to tell on somebody, but that wrong and the old boy doing wrong, it don't make it right. You know, if you take take your lumps, take take your L. You know, there, there's been plenty of times I had to take lots of L's. And I know people that are successful, let me tell you something, successful people have been losers in life. Not overall losers, it's been situations where they have lost situations but they look, look at Jordan. Jordan was cut, I think, in like the eighth grade basketball. And he's like the greatest player to ever play that I've seen. I'm not gonna say ever because there's Oscar Robinson and a lot of other older guys who I never saw that you know might have been this good. Well, you look at Jordan. Look at look 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 at Bill Gates. Bill Gates owns everything if he wouldn't give his fucking money away to charity. He could own everything, and the dude was a college dropout. So you know, I'm just saying, you know, only. I'm just, I'm, I'm just getting mad at the fact, like, like, or a situation, I'll use a situation, say you're doing something at work, and say you get busted, all right, let's say you take them long, let's say everybody gets a break to at work, if you're in America, you get breaks, unless you work for Walmart, that's a different story, but you get a break, say you take too long on your break, and say your boss, you know, wants to give you the old, hey, what's going on, and then you say, well, so-and-so's doing it, she's doing it, he's doing it. To me, that's fucking cornball. That's fuckery. That's like bullshit. Look, you got caught. You fucking man up. Like there were situations at work where maybe I like maybe done things where I stretched the rules. I'll put it like that. Now, if I got caught, I'd man up to it. But the thing I don't do is, well, so and so's doing it. Well, you ain't saying nothing to them. You wanna know why? Cause I don't give a fuck about so and so. Cause they ain't paying me, and they, they ain't paying my bills. I'm worried about I'm worried about the person you're looking at right fucking now, me. So at the end of the day, it's like this. You should be concerned about yourself. If you get caught in any situation, you should be man enough or woman enough to say, fuck it, I take the L. What you shouldn't do is, you shouldn't bring the fucking old team down because you're a fucking fuck up. You know, that's what I'm trying to say, basically, in so many words. So, look, be men and women about the situation, handle your business. 
And don't come crying to me like, well, well, I do handle my business and I see that you don't, and then I'm going to call you out on it because I call people out on it. So, I'm out of here. So, I'm going to see you guys later and, like, stay safe. Peace. There. That's it. That's him. <laughs>